It's been a lot of fun, you know? There's all that creative freedom you want, which I think Apple is, you know, pretty pretty well known for. I mean, there's the, you know, embodiment and support of storytelling uh, from the most granular level to the most macro level. Uh, so I've loved it. I loved every second of it. It's been a, it's been a real blast. There's a lot of singing and dancing, which was uh, not my uh, not my forte. Uh, not a, not a naturally gifted singer or dancer, but you know. It's that intersection of incredibly hard work and then really talented people that they put together behind the scenes. I mean, Chloe Arnold is our, not only our choreographer, but our teacher. Um, and, uh, you know, and then I had Will, you know, Will and Octavia, the three of us together really felt like we we're in the same boat. You know, we all had to learn a, a whole new craft and we have an, it, it, a craft we have infinite respect for, but it was, uh, it was exciting and terrifying. One of the challenges I had making this movie was to not do impressions of Will Ferrell doing Elf to Will Ferrell, uh, but uh, but he's a comedy icon for me. He's an idol for me as well. So uh, he did not disappoint in person either. Favorite moment? Oh man! I mean, probably uh, the Good Afternoon sequence was so much fun because there was everybody was involved in it. All the dancers were there, who were also our teachers. All the dancers behind us. So. They were so supportive, but Will and I had some of the hardest stuff to do in that. That was where the tap came in, so that was probably my favorite moment. The entire moment. I mean, I can't just pick one. It's, it, it, it would, I, I, I would be doing uh, the, the film and the experience a disservice. You know, Ryan and Will are iconic comedic actors. I mean, the most iconic comedic actors in the world. And then the rest of the cast rounding it out. Um, I, I feel very fortunate. I'm not a singer and I'm not a dancer. Uh, you know, I walk and talk. So <laughs> trying to marry all of that is like, ah. Uh. But you know what? We, we all uh, found it challenging, but also found the reward in it. First of all, you know, Sean and, and, and John wrote an amazing script. I love the perspective. The music by Pasek and Paul, I mean, come on. I mean, it, it, and then you have these amazing co-stars and Chloe Arnold did our um, choreography. There's nothing about this project that wasn't top tier, top notch. This has been a, a wonderful experience working with Apple um, and, and, you know, the entire 
I mean, look at this. <laughs> Are you not in the holiday mood? I know it's not Christmas yet, but it feels like it to me. I've always either sung or danced in a strictly comedic way. Uh, either characters that, you know, aren't supposed to sing that well, uh, or, or, and then you kind of get the benefit of the doubt of like, oh, you kind of sound okay. Uh, and this was kind of the first time where everything is done completely in earnest. And, and we really were doing, uh, you know, the director, the music team, Chloe Arnold, our, our choreographer, was trusting us to be at the same level as everyone else and uh, that you'd find in a Broadway musical, basically. So that was, that was the big difference. That was, you know, a real jump up in, you know, uh, testing ourselves, pushing ourselves beyond the limit to see if we could, we could do something like this. I had tap danced a little bit in high school. Um, and I told Sean, our director, like, look, I'll try. The time I did it before, it was really hard and I wasn't very good. Uh, so be prepared. And <laughs> so the little section you see in, in the movie is as much as I could pull off. They had, they had bigger plans for me, but they, they scaled it way down. I enjoyed, uh, I think just the complete kind of creative, faith that Apple TV Plus had in us. Apple was with us every step of the way and, and just made for an amazing experience. From like the moment I stepped into the world of Ghost World and rehearsals and even before that, meeting Sean, um, Sean Anders, our director, and like being in the audition session with him, it was so supportive and so friendly. Um, I loved rehearsing the musical numbers, so like the dance choreography and vocal training was next level for me. I'd never done anything like that, and it was juicy. I loved every bit of that. And of course, every moment on set, I will remember this for the best. I got to be in a movie with Will Ferrell, like one of my comedy legends. Ryan Reynolds, Sexiest Man Alive in 2010, and <laughs> Octavia Spencer, award-winning actress. I mean, I was totally soaking in all of their wisdoms. It was just the best. They took such good care of me. I, I really had a great time, and I'm, I'm just so welcomed into this production. It was, it was really nice to have, like, friendly faces and, and people just really appreciative of my presence. It's amazing. Oh, favorite memory. I actually have two. One would definitely be I ate lunch with Will Farrell. He's a really down-to-earth guy and we had such great conversations with each other. Second one, after I was done filming a scene with Ryan and Will, Ryan came up to me at the end and said I did a great job and he was excited to see the actor that I'd become when I'm an adult. So hearing that from somebody I look up to really resonated with me. Wow, well first of all, what an incredible moment. Uh, having Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds and Octavia Spencer, some of the biggest superstars on the planet, be willing to come into this new world, right, was absolutely incredible. They trained so hard with so much joy, so much love, so much passion, and they really just embody the essence of what this film is about, which is making a difference in the world and doing a little good. And through the language of dance, we will feel that. Now, what's particularly unique is that they learn to tap dance. And this is the first time we're seeing tap dance this huge on a, on a film, honestly, in about 30 years since the movie Tap. So it's a super exciting moment to be bringing tap dance back to the big silver screen and with these incredible artists. And I'm super honored to have been able to choreograph and to work with such just beautiful people as well as artists. A 
couple favorite moments. One with Ryan Reynolds, uh, the first time he was able to touch his toes after many, you know, uh, arduous rehearsals and working on flexibility. That was like such a fun and simple win that is just exemplary of how someone that's a master of their craft can also have these moments that are just so human. And then with Will Ferrell, it was when um, we, we, we have a special day called National Tap Dance Day. And Will Ferrell, when he found out, oh, he made it a massive to-do. And everywhere he went around our rehearsal hall, he's like, did you know it's National Tap Dance Day? Hey, happy National Tap Dance Day. And I think that was one of the best celebrations I've ever had because he just, again, poured so much genuine love into the craft. It was a dream from beginning to end. Uh, I, I, we had the most incredible time all summer long. We were shooting in Boston last year, making a Christmas movie. So it was just, it was a glorious time. Wow, I have so many favorite moments. On one of the final days of shooting, we were shooting a number called Ripple which is at the very end of the film because it's actually after the credits. So you have to stay to watch it. And it's this incredible number with water. And it was just a dream. It was like being in a Busley, Busby Berkeley movie. It, well, it was fabulous. We got to shoot in Boston, which is one of my favorite cities. And I got to spend the summer there just kind of, you know, watching very famous people sing and dance really well, and I got my own little private show, so it was fabulous. Well, I love that it's a retelling of an old story, and I hope that they can feel what I felt the first time I read A Christmas Carol, which is it's never too late to change. You can always have a second act. You can always, you know, uh, change your life around, and I think that's a really good message. This is my third movie with Will Ferrell. Uh, so anytime you get to go work on a Will Ferrell movie, the world is magical and a Christmas movie. Uh, I know Octavia Spencer, so it's another, another buddy. Ryan Reynolds, not a handsome guy, terribly ugly. Um, but just a great, it's a great way to go to work. It's a great vibe of the film. You know, what, what better movie to tell everyone in the world to be kind? That's why I love this movie so much. I have three children, they're not here tonight. I'm having an incredible night. I have three children. I'm exhausted. No, but they're going to see it later. So we're just, I'm just pumped for them to see it. Christmas movies play forever. And I'm so happy to be a part of it. So I've done movies with Octavia before and Will. And, you know, Ryan. I, I, to go on set with the th Octavia Spencer, Ryan Reynolds, and Will Ferrell is, is a dream job from the moment you walk on set to the moment you leave. And you go home at night, you're just like the happiest human. They're kind, they're wonderful, and they're wildly humorous. It's the best job ever. Um, yeah, it was a very spirited cast. You know, it's funny. What comes to mind is there was one day where uh, I was shooting with Will Ferrell, which was exciting. I did do a lot of scenes with him, but there was just one day we were together, and he sat next to me, and he started to ask me questions, and we had a conversation, and I just thought he was so... Lovely. I thought he was such a lovely human being, and I just thought, isn't aren't you too busy <laughs> for this? And he sat with me, and we talked. And we had a great time, and I just thought that's that's nice to know that such a big star like that is such a personal, wonderful person. <laughs> yeah. Christmas. Chris turning Kringle. it to a winter wonderland this year. Yeah. Snow and everything, right? Everything is for her. I'm staying in the present, man. This is the moment right here. Stay in the moment. Always stay in the moment. I would like to visit my future self. She would like to visit the future. Because her future is so bright. Mine is starting to celebrate Christmas at Halloween. Um, I don't like to waste any time. I honestly feel like the time between Halloween and Christmas is a total wash. It's just an excuse to start eating. Um, and so that, that is fine. I will say being in full age prosthetics was a trip. Um, I did, I looked like my grandmother, who is a beautiful woman. 
Uh, so that was wacky. And working with Marion and Will was awesome. And I wanted to do a musical for forever, so it was super cool to be on that side. I felt like a kid. My favorite musical number from this show, um, maybe Good Afternoon. I think that number is just, it's so fun. It's so much fun. I think the dancing's incredible, the sets, and I love how many people are involved, especially like there's younger kids in it, and I think it's just, it's really funny as well. Oh my god, I wouldn't even know where to start. Everybody was so wonderful and everybody worked so hard and we were asking them to, to get into some new disciplines with the singing and dancing and more than anything, everybody was really fun and positive and keeping up the, with, keeping with the message of the movie. This is a very different version of A Christmas Carol, but I feel like A Christmas Carol is a kind of a signal from the past reminding us of who we can be and what are, you know, our best selves. So hopefully this movie is another extension of that. It differed in every way, being a musical, it was almost like directing two movies at once. So, you know, just so overwhelming working on musical numbers and songs and, and, and uh, helping actors to learn to sing and dance and uh, while still doing all the things you do on a normal movie as well. So that, um, I went through this period of thinking, I don't ever want to do anything that's not another musical, that's not a musical, and then getting to the point of, I never want to do a musical again, and then coming back to, I can't wait to do another musical. What do you think about giving new I life to an old classic? I think it's like classic? a guilty pleasure that you don't have to feel guilty about seeing and that we did really well. <laughs> she's, she's proud of our work. I think it's really, really fun to get to, uh, to infuse something that everybody knows with a new twist, with a new spin, and getting to see Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell uh, and Octavia Spencer in full out musical numbers is, you know, for Broadway geeks like us, a real pleasure. And uh, I don't know, hopefully a really in, uh, a big infusion of joy this holiday season. What do you got, Mark? Yeah, uh, well, it's a story that's lasted for a reason. And I think like the, the chance to work on something that has connected with people throughout the years, but now hopefully you can connect with them in a different way has been amazing. They were so wonderful and super inspiring. And we've got some surprises in store when you see the film. I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, we have a surprise star who shows up in one of our numbers. It's pretty fun. Um, you know, look, these guys, Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds are, are two of the best comedic actors of our time. Getting to see them play off of each other and the commitment of putting in for learning how to tap dance, learning how to sing, seven weeks of rehearsals to then do this. It just, you know, it, it really like they led with such a, a beautiful energy and we were all inspired by it. And then Octavia, who had never sung outside of her shower, who then comes out and gives the most beautiful performance. You know, it, it's just really incredible to see people step outside of their comfort zones and completely nail it. And we're really, really proud to be a part of that and a part of that process. Uh, I really love bringing back Christmas. Which is it's, in the movie. Which is in the movie. Let me have my favorite Christmas song. Okay, all right. It's something that's uh, just snarky enough for me to enjoy, but also <laughs> sounds really sweet and happy. Uh, I would say, I mean, in the movie or outside of the movie? What are we talking? In the movie, I'm really proud of a song that we all wrote together called Good Afternoon. Oh, you're so nice. I mean, and I think everybody's work on it is really special. And it really, you know, it's a, a basically a two-hander for Ryan and Will. And we just had so much fun writing it. We were... My favorite part of uh, working on the music for Spirited uh, was working with Kion, who's right here. He's the only one I liked, no one else. No, there was a group of us who all worked together on the score for this, uh, for this film and for, on these songs. And we had probably too much fun. Uh, uh, as someone earlier on a Zoom set when we were talking about it, they were like, this was the most fun I had during the pandemic that I don't have to feel guilty about because we were technically working, but we were having a blast creating these crazy moments uh, in this musical for these incredibly talented actors. All of us, a group of five songwriters coming together on Zoom late at night, you know, with our hot tea and blankets and just like whipping up uh, a bunch of tunes. I mean, it doesn't get better than Will Ferrell and Ryan Reynolds singing your song. So they're like comedy legends, icons, and to write, you know, specifically Good Afternoon, which is like such a comedy banger for them was incredible. Yeah, and I think in one, one sense, it's like, 
you're sort of like, oh, this is really good because we know who we're writing for. We can get specific about it. Yeah. We, we're set up well. On the other hand, you're like, if it doesn't go over well, you know it's not their it's, fault because yeah. they're great. <laughs> they're amazing. So, so we got to do our job. job. <laughs>